Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video we're going to be doing this parrot. Now, So this is a picture I found this morning on Pixabay and I was looking for something nice and bright and cheerful so I decided I've not done a parrot before so we'd have a go at doing this and I thought it'd be nice on on here we've obviously got a really plain background but I thought it'd be nice to put some more exotic plants and things behind him so I've just got this little book this is one that I've um, from a florist which has got all the different flowers and things in so things like gardening books and floristry books are really handy to have if you enjoy doing flowers and leaves and things so um, I'll just pick out one or two things from here some more exotic leaves and some shapes uh, of some more exotic flowers so um, maybe a bird of paradise if I can find one something like that and I'll put those all in the background so to begin with I'm just going to do a pencil drawing and I'll just be concentrating really on the shape of his head a bit like we did the other week with the robin picture if I, if you didn't see that uh, on how to draw robin I'll put the link up here but basically it's the same kind of thing that we need to start with looking at the shapes we've got there so the basic shape of his head most of this is just feather and fluff all this is fluffed out look at the size of his beak quite big compared to the rest of his head um, in comparison to the little songbirds that we have around here and then look at the shape of that wing so we've not got all of him in um, but he'll fit quite nicely onto this size sh and shape of paper um, and then like I say put some flowers and things around him once I've done that I'm going to use the ink tense blocks I've got the set of 24 you can get these in 12s and 36 and even more than that I think uh, and I use them quite a lot one of the main reasons I like using these is because of the really bright colours the way they differ from watercolours is that they're a, a different finish, they're much more inky than a watercolour but also the permanent once they're dry. So as soon as they're dry you cannot lift them, they're set there and that is great for building up layers of colour. So when you add an extra layer on you're not lifting the colour from underneath providing it's dry of course. Um, and you can get various varying degrees of opacity depending on how thickly you put it on and how much water you add so they can be nice and transparent or you can get them very opaque and build up some very good deep colours with those so I really like using the ink tens. I'd actually quite like to get to the larger set at some point as well but this set of 24 has some really nice colours in it and if we look at them and put them there next to him you can see that a lot of these colours are going to do really well for him okay so I'll get on now and do the drawing and I'll perhaps pop, put some music Music to that whilst I'm doing that so I'll set off by doing him and then put the flowers behind and then we'll start building up some colour with those lovely ink tents.
So I think we'll call it a day there. As you can see I've used two different techniques. In the background I used wet on dry. I allowed each layer to dry. Like I said earlier, once they dry the permanent so you can build the layers up and you can alter your colours if you want to by laying other colours on top. So that's one way of working with them and it's worked quite well in that background. Very illustrative this, uh, more illustrative than a lot of the things I would normally do but these sort of lend themselves to that kind of work and you can get some really fun bright colours. You know you can imagine doing something for a child's bedroom using these really bright ink tense paints um, and you can get lots of nice effects with them. So that was wet on dry the bird I used wet in wet so you would see that I wet the whole bird then I added the three colours that we mainly see of the red, the yellow and the blue and then I picked them, picked them up and drew onto them whilst it was wet so that you get a lot of texture there which sort of brings the bird forward from the, from the background there by getting some extra texture and the feeling of some fluffiness and some feathers. I wasn't going to start and draw every single feather or worry about where every single feather was and getting this very accurate. Of course if you did get this photograph yourself off Pixabay you could have a go at doing a very accurate drawing of this. It's absolutely beautiful all these feathers but I didn't have the patience for that. I just wanted to get those lovely colours and, and really nice and bright. So I did the wet in wet, I put the paint on first, then I did a little bit of drawing with the sticks themselves and then I came back and did put some extra layers on using it straight from the stick rather than mixing it in the palette with some water and that way you get a, a real good depth of colour and they become quite opaque. And then I did a little bit of um, detail on his face, not too much at the end using um, some ink pens. So I used the um, pit pens there at the end just to pick up a little bit of detail around the eye, obviously once that was dry. You could have done that with the ink tents using a much finer brush as, as well if you wanted to, if you didn't have the pens. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. I think it's turned out quite nice, quite a lovely little bright, cheerful picture. It's quite a gloomy day today, so it's made quite a nice bright um, picture to brighten up this day. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I'll be back again soon with more tutorials, maybe in ink tense, but maybe in brush or watercolour. If you're new to my channel and you'd like to subscribe, don't forget you need to also um, press the bell icon below as well to get updates of when my new videos will be out. So thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon and bye for now.